Hello, welcome back to Bruce's investing series. Today, another big company announced the earning today. This company is Shopify. For those that are not familiar with Shopify and what, what they do, let's look up what Shopify do. Shopify is an e-commerce platform company, allows you to host your online store, it helps you organize the layout, and also gives you payment process, where it allows you to accept and receive payment for the products you sell. So now, let's dive deep into Shopify's balance sheet. If you look at this company, they have about like $7 billion in cash and in marketable securities. And this makes up the majority of their current asset. Their current asset is about $8.5 billion, and their current liability is around $500 million. This gives them a current ratio of 17.13x. I mean, this is very, very high for a current ratio. Usually, you want this you know, around like a 1.5, you know, maybe a 1.6. At 17.13, that's even better. Now, look at the total asset and total or total liabilities. This gives them 6.43x. Very, very good news. Absolutely amazing for a company. You know, especially how you know young this company is. This company is not very old. Now, if you look at the uh, operations generating, if you look at this, they spent about sixty million dollars to to make to make two hundred twenty million bucks from the subscription from the from the online store. That is a very healthy gross margin we see here. And they even make a you know nice amount of money from the merchant solution too. Now, if you look at here, the operating expense had ticked up from the previous quarter, but because the revenue has shot up so much, the operating income is went from a loss of 73-ish million to about 118 million in operating income. Absolutely amazing here. Well, if you look at here, their net income had, if you look at here, has a massive jump from the previous quarter. On the surface, this looks very nice. But if you look at here, the majority of this net income is actually from the unrealized gain on equity and other investments they have. That's where they generate majority of net income reported here. But this company does have, you know, a very, very nice growth here. Now you, now you look here, cash provided by operating activities, a very nice increase. They were, you know, they were burning about $85 million in their, their operations from quarter one, 2020. Now they, their operation is bringing them about $136 million. Absolutely monster growth. And the reason why Shopify has such a nice growth in revenue is because I, I suspect it's because of this reason. If you look at here, let's say you want to set up your online store. The basic plan is $29. The one in the middle is 79. The high end is is $299 per month. And if you even, you know, let's say you just start a store. Let's say you don't feel like spending these kind of money as a beginner, first time open up an online store. You can get the light plan. It only charge you $9 a month, but I'm guessing it's probably very limited. But I mean, they even give you know, all kinds of options for all different people. And let's say you run a very, very big online business, a mega business. You can get a Shopify Plus. This is $2,000 per month or a variable fee for higher volume business. And if you look at here, even the, the high end, the highest end plan for a business, this is pretty cheap for software subscription per month. Now, if you look at the hyper chart, if you are a visual, Stock, stock investor, if you look at here, revenue and operating income. Look at the nice growth. You know, they went from, you know, relatively, you know, nice growth in revenue and all of a sudden, boom. Starting from quarter three, 2020, they start generating a profit. And I, I believe this trend is going to continue to grow up in the future. You know, with what happened in 2020, from people switching from shopping from in-store to online, I think sh online shopping, it's going to be the biggest growth drive in the U.S., and if you 
if you take a look a little carefully on consumer reports, about like 15 to 20 percent shopping is only done online in the U.S. And I think that trend is going to be even grow bigger because theoretically you can actually buy 100 percent what you need online. Like to go to the store, it's almost like it's almost a thing of the past now. But I don't think retail is going to go away. But I think shopping is going to be the biggest growth compared to retail stores. Now, if you look at net income, they were losing money for a bunch of quarters. And then the last three quarters, including today, had a nice growth. Quarter 1 2021 is the biggest reported net income. Now, if you look at here, gross margin is always hovering around the 60s range, which is which is a very nice. Software companies typically have a much higher gross margin than other, other businesses because they don't have inventory. Usually software companies, you know, they have a gross margin around 60 to 80 plus percent. That's why I love to invest in software companies the most. Now, if you look at the operating margin, that's the dark red line. This is a very nice continued growth here. I mean, they were, you know, losing money. Now they're starting, you know, for, for three quarters, this is a positive. I expect this trend to continue to go up and more, especially with online shopping. It's going to continue to be on an uptrending in the future. And net income for quarter one, 2021, it's at 100 plus percent. That is just a monster return here. And if you look at the operating expense, majority of it is on SMA and R&D. Again, this, this is a software company. You know, when you're a software company, you got to constantly do some research and development to make your products better, you know, to to make sure that your, your competition is not going to steal your market share. Now, if you look at here, their revenue had a monster growth. Many, many of this is driven by stay at home orders. And this is, you know, what you want to see in a healthy growing company cash on a, on a monster growth. Again, absolutely amazing here. Now, if you jump to, let's jump to TD Ameritrade. This is where my, my public account is at. They reported a non-gap earning of $1.58. Analysts is, analyst is expecting $1.26. They beat it by 20.57%. Very nicely. Look at here. Look at the past, you know, including to the past four quarters. This is basically a complete beat. In quarter one, in in here. They even, you know, they, they even beat reported 19 cents in earnings, beating expectation of minus 18 cents. Again, let's look at some of the pure comparison on Shopify. So let's, let's see where the competitions are. Well, there's no, no information. But since Shopify is being a, a growing company like this big, big, they're not really going to have to worry about customer churn because when you are a software company and you've been growing business massively and, and if the customers, you know, satisfy your product, it's very unlikely they will switch from you because, you know, to switch from software to another software, it's not easy and, and it's costly. And Shopify, you know, it's just proven that, you know, they're able to retain the customers. They're also able to generate monster growth and revenue and net income. Now, lastly, before I end this video, let's look at these, the stock chart. If you look at the 20 day moving average, they're about 1,171. Now, if you look at the 50 day moving average, it's about around the 1,200 ish. The 100 day moving average, which is the blue, it's about 1,184. And the 200 day moving average is down at the bottom here, just under 1,100 bucks. Right now, the stock today is trading at you know, about 1,300 bucks a share, you know, due to the company reported a spike in earning. I mean, if you look at here in this stock in the past, if you look in the past here, it does have, you know, a lot of, you know, ups and down, ups and down. It is somewhat of a, you know, more of a volatile stock compared to, you know, some other companies. Let's look at the historical volatility. 54.8, I mean, it is a more of a volatile stock, but I mean, it's only at a beta 1.4, which is not bad. Not a lot of people shorting it because, you know, this company's, you know, they they crush a lot of doubters here, you know, therefore the short interest has been coming down a lot. The PE ratio wise, it is very high PE ratio compared to, to other companies, but keep in mind too, when a company has so much 
PE ratio, the highest PE ratio is possible, it indicates that people are expecting a lot of growth. Low growth company has low PE ratio, like don't get you know scared away by PE ratio. And to conclude this video, Shopify did an amazing earning. This is a, an amazing company. And I think Shopify could be a nice competitor to Amazon because Shopify basically allows, you know, you as the online seller, the freedom to run your business. And Amazon, as you had to rely on them, two different business models here, but I think Shopify, I think this is one of the stock, in my opinion, this is not financial advice. I think Shopify is a very overlooked stock for the e-commerce business. And that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more future content. And good luck investing, everyone.